Yeah, and hello to each and every one of you. In today's video, I wanted to go over to my grandma's house so that she can show you all how to make rice sausage. And rice sausage is what we like to call in Moling as ma nyu. Ma refers to as rice and nyu is sausage. So I grew up eating this with my grandparents. They would be the ones making it for us, sharing it to the whole family. So I thought, why not go to my grandma's house so that she can show you her recipe, how she makes it so that hopefully if you get these ingredients and find these ingredients you can make it yourself and it's something I usually don't eat as often because it is kind of labor intensive um, so it is a labor of love type recipe so with that being said let's just go straight to my grandma's house and show you how she makes it let's go so rice sausage is basically a type of sausage that is filled with seasoned sticky rice instead of meat. It's typically steamed instead of barbecued or baked and the interior looks something like this. It's just filled with sticky rice. For the ingredients, my grandma loves to use the Apple brand sticky rice. This is a 10 pound bag that she'll be using. It is short grain type of sticky rice and we highly recommend you using a type of sticky rice, especially the short grain. She loves using this brand because the short grain gives it a little bit more flavor. Texturally, it's also more stickier and it's a tad bit sweeter. Now you can use long grain sticky rice as well, but texturally it's just not the same as using short grain sticky rice. The flavor is a little bit more different. She's also going to be adding some fresh ginger, salt, and some vegetable oil. And then we're going to be using fresh pork casing. Now this casing has been thoroughly cleaned inside and out. Now in the Hmong culture, when we butcher pig, we do like to save these intestines. And the way we like to take care of it is to tie one end of the casing and then to the open end here, we are going to blow air to it. Now, the traditional way to blow air to it in the mold culture is to use a straw, but I actually like to use a balloon pump here. This balloon pump has been sterilized and properly cleaned, and we are going to use this to blow air to it. And the reason why we're blowing air to it is we want the casing to be completely dried inside and out tie the other end and then we're going to put it on a string and then put it in an area that's dry and dark to allow it to dry completely. So drying the casing is a way that a lot of Hmong people preserves the casing. It's also another way to give a stronger exterior, especially when you're filling it. And it also helps so that the rice can be filled a lot easier because it is a little bit more elastic and stronger. So once all of these casings are dried, we are ready to take it out and they are ready to use. Now, if you don't have access to fresh pork casing, you could definitely go check out your butcher shop or your butcher store to see if they have any pork casing in a bag like this. Typically they live in the freezer section, sometimes they'll have it in the fridge or sometimes it's left out in room temperature by the register or next to the fridge. Most store-bought casing will give you directions on how to clean it properly, how to store it, and how to use it. So you could read the back to see how it is properly taken care of. Also want to note that depending on which one you buy, sometimes the sizes are different. You might get bigger ones, you might get smaller ones. Now most pork casings you buy from the store is heavily seasoned with salt and salt is basically to preserve the pork casing. Because it is heavily salted, we do need to rinse it before you use it. So as directed from the back, I am going to take out just as much as I need and place it into a bowl. And we are going to rinse this in warm water for about two to three times inside and out. Once it's thoroughly cleaned, we're just going to let it soak in water while you prep your other ingredients. And you do want to let it soak in water because it is a lot easier to use as well. So if you are using store-bought casing, this is the way to take care of it. Now, the fresh pork casing can be used right away. You do not have to blow air and let it dry. It's not really necessary. It's a little bit too thin to work with, especially compared to the fresh pork casing one. So you can definitely just use this once it is thoroughly rinsed. 
So depending on which casing you end up using, once they are properly dried and or cleaned, we are ready to make the rice sausage. <laughs> so for the rice, in a really big bowl, my grandma's going to use a whole 10 pound bag of the Apple brand short grain sweet rice. Now you can definitely do half the recipe here, but she's doing a big batch because we have quite a lot of people to feed. <laughs> So I do want to mention because I am cooking with my grandma, she does not do precise measurements. It's all through feel, all through experience. So I'll do my best to write the recipe down in exact measurements so that you can hopefully make it yourself. So she pours the whole 10 pound bag of the sweet rice into a bowl and then she'll rinse it a few times, drain the water, and then she'll fill it up again with extra hot tap water. And you wanna make sure you fill it with quite a lot of hot water so that the rice has enough moisture to soak. And then she's going to place this somewhere and let it soak and sit for about an hour. As that is soaking, let's go ahead and prep the ginger. So ginger is basically used in here to help give it some flavor, give it some spice, and also help to reduce that casing odor. So my grandma's just mashing up the ginger into very fine minced. Now in a big pot, she's going to add in some water and we're going to heat this up and add in some salt. After that, she'll add in some vegetable oil. and the minced ginger. Now you just want to heat this up until the salt is dissolved. You don't have to bring this to a boil. Just slightly simmer it. Mm. Once the salt has dissolved, go ahead and taste it to see if it is salty enough for you, like my grandma here. If it's good, we are ready to go. So after the rice have soaked for an hour, we are ready to start filling it. She is going to take the rice out of that soaking water and place it into another bowl. So she's gonna do a little bit at a time. So to each bowl of rice here, we're gonna add in that seasoned ginger water, about enough to cover and leaving about an inch of overhead water. My grandma's gonna let the rice soak for a few minutes while she cleans the dried pork casing. So the first thing my grandma likes to do is to take all of the dried pork casing, put it into a bowl and rinse them. To one end of each casing, she'll cut one end off to release any of the excess air. This also helps to hydrate the casings so that they are a little bit more flexible to work with. And we are ready to fill. So for every casing here, to the open end, uh, we're gonna add in either a sausage funnel, you can also use the tip of a water bottle, you can also use a funnel, whatever works for you, but my grandma has this sausage funnel tip here that she likes to use. I 
tend to use the tip of a water bottle that's been cut off. And then you're gonna snug it pretty tight into the open end of the casing here and add the rice in the liquid a little bit at a time. So as you fill, you'll start noticing that the rice gets stuck. So the liquid here is basically to help move the rice down to the casing. So add the liquid as you go, depending on how much rice you add. And you wanna lift up the casing so that rice can go all the way through and down to the bottom. Now, this is probably one of the most tedious part of making rice sausage because the rice does have the tendency to get stuck. So again, you have to kind of be patient in this process here. <laughs> Once each casing is filled with rice, you do want to drain a little bit of that seasoned water. Now the seasoned water does give it flavor, but it's basically there to help you move the rice down to the bottom of the casing. So remove a little bit of that liquid and then seal it completely and place it into a bowl until every one of the casing and all the rice is used up. So as you fill each casing, just make sure you try not to overfill it too much. Leave some space so that the rice can expand as it steams. Once we are done filling the casing with rice, we are ready to steam. Now, my grandma likes to steam this on medium heat for about 30 to 35 minutes. You want it to be on a gentle simmer. That way you have a less chance of bursting the sausage as it steams because the rice is going to expand. Now the thing about using fresh pork casing and doing the whole process of drying it gives it a little bit more flavor and it also creates a better exterior. So when you steam it, it has a less likely chance to burst compared to if you're gonna use the store-bought pork casing. Fresh pork casing is a little bit stronger and thicker so when you steam it, you have a gorgeous rice sausage that looks like this. Now, sometimes the casing might have a hole in there that you didn't notice, or sometimes you probably end up overfilling it too much and you do end up having sausages that burst like this. Now, if you're going to use store-bought casing, you want to make sure you really, really, really underfill it. If it looks like you underfill it, then it is perfect. Try not to overfill it because once it steams, it's going to burst. So it does work. You just want to make sure you really underfill it. And this is it for my grandma's rice sausage. Now you can enjoy this as it is like this, super plain and simple. My mom loves to eat this with smoked shredded beef. I do have a recipe for that as well. If you're curious on how to make that, I'll put the link down below. But traditionally, rice sausage is just eaten as it is. Very simple as that. Eat it while it's still warm, or you could put it in the fridge and re-steam it or rewarm it in a microwave to get it a little bit softer again. So I hope you enjoy watching my grandma show you her version of making rice sausage. This is definitely a type of recipe that I wanted to preserve and show all of you. So give this recipe a try. Until then, I will see you in my next video. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>